welcome to another vlog and welcome officially to the vlogging channel I thought i'd vlog today because it's the weekend and lawrence and i are going to be doing a bit of upscaling what is it upcycling upcycling of furniture we're turning into pure minimalists and charity shop goers and using secondhand things and sprucing them up and this weekend we have a project of turning this old chest of drawers, old wooden chest of drawers that was Lawrence's when he was growing up and we're going to clean it all up because it's been outside for a while since the move and they're in really bad state. Clean them up, sand it down, maybe paint it but I think we're going to really sand it down and kind of just leave it how it is, make it all look pretty basically and then have it in um, the office room for storage. So I'm really, really excited. Anyway, let me know how you are down below how are you how is your week going tell me the best thing about your week let's make things nice positive and happy and enjoy today's vlog i'm so happy to be vlogging and i'm so happy that it's like on a separate channel because it's like a really cozy corner now it's like a proper cozy corner anyway i hope you're all well let's go let's go and look at the chest of drawers now and then let's do them up hello hello doing some DIY today. Oh, walking around in our shoes, are you? Yeah. No. <laughs> yes, we are. I just explained. Interesting. Get off the rug then. <laughs> I just explained what we're doing. Okay. Here are the chest of drawers, uh, little feet by... Oops. Here are the chest of drawers, little feet, by the way. Lawrence has um, already removed those and washed them because they were really grubby. So here's the chest of drawers that we are up cycling. Love that word. So at the moment you can see it's like, first of all, very, very dirty. And upside down. And upside down. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. So it's upside down at the moment. So we took, so the, we took the feet off. Took the feet off from here. This needs fixing because it's come loose a little bit. You can see it's like a little bit mm. of a gap there. But I'm going to just wipe it all down first, get it all clean, fix that, this bit, make sure it's like structurally good, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to start sanding it down. Whilst Lawrence is outside sorting out the chest of drawers, there's not much I can do at the moment to help him, so I'm actually going to come indoors and start sorting out through the office room, because the office room is a huge, huge room, and half of it is my office, half of it is going to be, I don't know yet, who knows? <laughs> but at the moment it's being used as a dumping ground and it's kind of stressing me out and this year I really want to be very minimalistic I don't need all of this stuff if it just sits there being not used then do I really need it no is the answer so I'm going to sort through what we're keeping and what we're storing away in the chest of drawers and then a big charity pile and yeah I'm excited so this is it at the moment as you can see it's a total mess so we've just got loads of camera type equipment over here we've also got bits in that box that could go to charity like homeware decor that we don't use and um, we have a shelf thing over there that that could be useful I love wood you always should keep wood because it could be useful for so many things um so yeah, I might actually have a think about that and maybe we could sand that down and put that up as a shelf somewhere. Hmm, it's interesting. We also have um, an Ikea shelf here, which I was thinking we could put in the bathroom somewhere and it could be um, used for the bathroom. Again, need to have a think about that. 
but yeah and um, we've got cat boxes here that need to just be stored somewhere and just a load of stuff that whole basket over there is for my um every now and then secret giveaways i have actually just posted out it took me like three weeks <laughs> so bad to post out my first week giveaways but i'm hoping they get it soon and um, yeah I was, i'm really excited for them to receive that stuff and then obviously over here we have like my office area this um is going to be where the chest of drawers is kept then i'm going to get a comfy squishy chair here and then this corner might actually be my filming corner and we we'll just keep this as my office corner and this is one of the large cat perches which i have mentioned before i cannot recommend enough how much you should get that if you've got a cat they absolutely love it it's really sturdy it's really good for their claws um, but they are currently in different beds at the moment so anyway um, I'm going to clean up this absolutely diabolical room get it sorted and get it sorted as much as I can and yeah yeah let's do this Okay, so I know it doesn't look like progress right now, but I've made a lot of progress. You know when you're kind of tidying up and it starts to become messier before it comes neater? Uh, that's what's going on. Anyway, I managed to find two different Bath & Body Works candles, which I'm really happy about. I also found lots of our old Polaroids together. So I'm going to get my scrapbook and start putting them in there just to keep them all together but it was really nice finding them going through them um, but yeah I'm gonna go check on Lawrence see how his progress is doing hello hello, hello. how's it going it's going okay oh wow no I like the color underneath yeah the other side's done top's done but I'm just trying to work out what I'm gonna do with these edges i think i'm gonna flatten them out oh you got country music on yeah. can we get large marshmallows from tesco and have a bonfire we can do it's just not a marshmallow free zone it's not a marshmallow free zone <laughs> if there's a bonfire <laughs> looking good so we had to stop what we did in the garden because there's a part of the saw that has broken the sander the sander that's what i meant yeah. same thing no, same thing <laughs> and we popped out we popped to home base to see if they had the replacement but they didn't but we did get some other bits which i'll show you um a hammer well that's not threatening at all <laughs> <clears throat> so so yeah, we got that hammer and we got two little Budlia trees. I'm so excited about this. So Budlia is actually my favorite type of tree and we had it in the old house, but unfortunately, obviously we had to leave it behind. So we've got two little mini ones. Yeah. Yeah, you held them up. Got Empire Blue and Royal Red. Yay, so they're going to grow into big trees and we're so excited. Budlia is very like robust. It's also amazing for birds, uh, so, well, for birds as well, but bees and butterflies, mm. which are obviously pollinators. And it just looks stunning in your garden. It's really low maintenance. Every like autumn, you just chop it right back and the next year they, it grows twice as big. So, and <laughs> um, they're great. So mm. we're going to plant them now in the garden. Yeah. But I am very excited.
morning, it's now the next day and well, the next day brings storms. It's storm, is it Caroline? There's a storm brewing and wow, last night it was so bad. Um, I kept waking up and then my brain would function what noise was going on around me and then I was like, whoa, that is loud. That is really intense. So um, it kind of put a hold on things, but we are carrying on anyway. Well, Lawrence's, bless him. Um, I've got bad stomach pains today. Um, so I'm staying indoors. I've got Harry Potter on the screen. I've been upstairs in the second bedroom again, just sorting through stuff. Um, Cause once these chest of drawers are ready, they're gonna look so good. Um, and also I'll show you what I've done with the little draw knobs. As you can see, I painted them. They were wooden. Well, they're still wooden. Oh, I need to turn Harry Potter off actually because <laughs> I'm gonna get copyrighted. There he is, old Hazza. So anyway, I painted all of these little wooden doorknob things teal color, this is the home base teal. Now these were 80p each and I've used like a millimeter out of one of them. So I didn't need to buy three, but they were so cheap. So I'm going to maybe paint other stuff around the house teal, but this is what they look like. I think they look really nice. They're going to go really nicely. I absolutely can't wait to show you guys what it's gonna look like when it's finished. now a new day and I wanted to show you the chest of drawers what they look like now and just kind of talk you through what we did I've had quite a few messages online about how we did it so I wanted to like clear that up for you and um, how we did it so you could do it too but I'm so happy with that really flipping love it it's my new favorite corner of the house um, and it's already being used as a really great storage area Ta-da, here it is in its full glory. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So essentially I'll put some pictures of before and after and all of that here now anyway. So this in our bedroom is our TV unit and it was a bookshelf. It was the exact same wood as the chest of drawers that are now in the office and it had all that same varnish stuff on the front. So Lawrence just completely sanded it down. We removed a shelf. And this is how it looks. And after a few weeks, I think it settles a bit more, like the colour of the wood. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks so cute. It's just really nice to be that colour. It's really nice to upcycle old furniture as well. Keep what you've already got and make it look better. Real nice. Oh. You're disgusting. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed watching us do that. Also, the total self-gratification of getting something done like that is unreal. Like, we feel so good about ourselves. And I also feel really good that it cost literally 80p, which was the tester thing. It didn't really cost us anything. It just cost us time, and I'm willing to spend time doing something that's good for us, good for our house, makes our house look cute and I love it, and also good for the planet. Vlogs will be going live Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. So thank you for all coming over from my main channel and subscribing to this one if you want to see the vlogs each week. Um, Lawrence the Lion, love you very much, and we'll see you again next week. Mwah. Bye.